I'm back. <laughs> Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Yes, a little different today. Sherry's with me. It's a mid-afternoon and uh, I'm carrying a nice chest because we're taking the puppies for a car ride. So we thought maybe we'd uh, head over by Praneville and uh, brought some waters and some cold things to drink for some puppies <laughs> that are excited uh, and got leashes and the whole works and we thought we'd get the kids <laughs> the kids the dogs out of the house and uh, it was a change of pace so uh let's get going the other thing we're going to do a little different today is uh go ahead bill is uh get our puppies in in here but one got in the wrong spot hey Silly dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Belle, Abby, Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she had the right idea, but wrong, <laughs> wrong part. So she's gonna get transferred to the back with her sister. And, uh, oh, bringing her around. She's getting a lot heavier, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's, first time she's gonna go for a full ride without a kennel, which we had back there, but she's getting too big for it. Well, guys, we uh, came up the Crooked River up by uh, Praneville. <laughs> uh, we just stopped at one of the campgrounds along the river here. It's real pretty. And thought we'd just let the puppies out for a second and then go visit some more places. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is kind of uh, Belle's first time. So let's let her investigate. Well, guys, we made it back. We didn't go uh, too long. Uh, the little one. The little one got an upset tummy, but not too bad, but because of the windy roads, but it was warm. So uh, we didn't want to push our luck too much and make their experience bad. So they came home <laughs> and, uh, anyway, but that was their day adventure. Well, it's later on this evening. I thought I'd show you what we we're cooking. So uh, tonight um, I'm cooking up um, two uh, of our own Idaho pasture pigs pork chops boneless uh, they are so good I like to smoke them for a little bit in the Traeger then I'm going to sear them and cook them the rest of the way on a iron cast iron uh, pan uh, and some other things we're uh, cooking from our garden we also uh, got a lot of our snow peas and sugar snap peas right here and uh, we're just gonna boil them in a Put them in butter. Um, my pork chops, I'm gonna sear in my uh, cast iron right here. I'm gonna add a little garlic uh, there too. And then also I made a nice big um, salad. So uh, last minute at least, I went out to the garden where all my uh, lettuces are growing. Grabbed a lot of sample pieces of lettuce and I mixed it with um, iceberg lettuce from the store. We got uh, our carrots, uh, not our tomatoes though, but <laughs> anyway, great big old salad. Gonna go good with dinner, and uh, yeah, we'll be eating good tonight. So just let you know, we do cook what we grow. All right, thought we'd come out here and check out Sherry's Garden Flower, flower Towers or Tower of Flowers. <laughs> anyway, she's out here getting them uh, all watered up. And uh, they're looking beautiful. What do you think, Mom? I you, like it. You happy? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. It's 
some reason I like the reds on top. Right over there too. Very nice. So, uh, everything taken pretty well? Yeah, I'm, uh, I have a couple of them that probably need a little more shade. Mm. Um, That's what's kind of nice is you can turn these out of the sunshine, take the direct sunshine off them if you need to. Yeah, I think they're all taking pretty good. Pretty nice. And it's, uh, we're showing everybody what we're making for dinner. We haven't fed the pigs yet, but we tend to like to feed them when it's cooler because uh, otherwise they're too, too hot and bothered. But anyway, yeah, they'll get their dinner pretty soon. And then, uh, yeah. yeah. Those are pretty. Oh. Pretty nice. Well, guys, it's the uh, next day. Actually, it's two days ago. Um, thought I'd uh, take you out to the back here, but I also wanted to uh, show you something. So uh, I'm showing you a little bit of cooking from before. And uh, sorry, it's a little dark in here, but it'll lighten up in a minute. Um, the pork that we've been cooking is from our own pigs. And uh, just to kind of remind you that our pork, uh, we had processed in a USDA facility and now we can sell it. And what I wanted to do is, uh, uh, if you go to Central Oregon Grown, um, you'll see that we also put some stuff on sale and uh, there's a 10% discount. And this is a, uh, a lot of the USDA pork uh, from uh, steaks to uh, tenderloins to bacon, sausage, uh, tons of stuff. And this, uh, we just had some of the bacon this weekend and it was delicious. So if you want to try uh, quality pork, really good flavor, uh, fresh and processed uh, uh, ne I should say calmly, <laughs> uh, humanely processed uh, uh, pork and also pigs that lived quality lives and stuff. Uh, we're talking about some really good pork. So if you want to try uh, some, uh, tr go to centraloregongrown.com. It's a new website. Um, uh, if you have any troubles, uh, well, first of all, sign up for the newsletter and uh, for things that we have on sale. Uh, but it's, uh, uh, like I said, brand new. If you have any trouble with it, uh, just send us a note and let us know that you've had some uh, issues or whatever because it's being tweaked. But uh, if you want to try some really good pork, uh, it's amazing. And Sherry and I, uh, our pork chops are to die for. Um, but yeah, uh, the best thing you can do is order it online there because then you can use a credit card or a debit card. Um, and if you came to Crooked River Ranch uh, and pick it up yourself, you got free shipping. Um, if uh, you want it delivered, uh, there is a fee, but we are shipping up to a 50 mile radius for now. So uh, yeah, um, we've tried all the different cuts and we have just been so impressed with it. So I think you'll really enjoy the fact of uh, getting some fresh pork. Um, you know, just try a little bit at a time, see what you think, and uh, you'll be impressed. Thought I'd stop by the greenhouse, take a look at the uh, plants in here. They're uh, growing quite well. Uh, the young ones are actually really starting to shoot up there a little bit. Uh, of course, the uh, ones that were pre-started are just killing it. Um, nothing is ripe yet, but uh, most of this over here is uh, Amish paste. And we're excited to get those to make uh, sauces out of. So uh, yeah, but they're growing like crazy. And uh, we've been uh, trimming them a little bit here and there. Uh, and uh, 
yeah, every once in a while, if uh, things get droopy or at all, that stuff usually means that one of my emitters is not set right. And so a lot of times we'll come down here, move them around a little bit, make sure that the emitters are hitting the roots. Um, right down here, lots of tomatoes down there, looking lots of blossoms. So yeah, we're looking good. So it's just a matter of time. And uh, we've been running the swamp cooler here almost every day because it's been getting kind of warm and uh this week it looks like towards the end of the week it's going to get really warm so uh we're keeping an eye out for that and remember in this greenhouse our sides open up if we really need to air it out so yeah so uh let's move on all right let's go check on the mean rooster and the chickens here hey rooster there you are what are you up to <laughs> Well, he's not attacking, but uh, <laughs> believe it or not, he will move out of the way when I'm feeding him. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a creep. All right, well, we're going to go uh, check in the piggies. They're all kind of warm out here, so they're all sitting in their trees and shelters in the shade. My two uh, crazy pups always go out and harass harass the chickens and the <laughs> and the pigs but right now they just want to play hard anyway uh i was going to show you one of the problems i got right now is uh all the bags that we get feed from uh we normally burn well since this time of year is a burn ban uh they collect so when burning opens up again uh we get quite a pile every year so Anyway, uh, if you're wondering why there's all, all those bags, this is we're waiting until burning season to get rid of them. That's the only drawbacks with feed. We can't get the buy by the ton. We don't have any storage for that. So uh, we end up wasting a lot of paper. Anyway, uh, I keep uh, my feeders here. Each pig really gets about a little bit less than a scoop of uh a feed like i said the two big pigs in there are on a minor diet way over here all the pigs are hiding in the shade so uh, they'll start coming out um and uh, we'll be checking their water and uh yeah and i'm uh, making sure they're comfortable usually this time of day uh, i am bringing the food out to the piggies is uh It's kind of funny how Sparky will be sleeping. Hi. Hi, babies. He's hungry. So, uh, yeah, that's how they keep cool. And uh, so, uh, hi, Spark. Look at your chest. Look at the tusk on him. How'd you like to have one of those tusks going on the side of your leg? So you always want to be careful. Even though he's friendly, he's pushy, and uh, he could seriously hurt you. And uh, uh, we're going to probably be able to tell within three to four weeks if Maggie is pregnant or not. Uh, so far, it's looking kind of doubtful, but you never know. Anyway, hey Spark, how you doing? <laughs> How you doing, baby? All right. Well, let me check their water. They slid their house back a little bit. They use it as a scratching post. I'm not, I don't go in there alone. So tonight with Sherry, I'll block the pigs, slide the house forward. And, uh, but right now, we'll live with that. All right, let's give them some food. Now, right, guys. All right, guys, got all the piggies fed and right here. That's my young ones. Don't forget gingers for sale if you are interested in your own pig. That's um, Zelda over there. 
and uh, they're all happy. And then the other two big, big pigs are back there and they're eating. So uh, they'll fill up their bellies. Then there will be siesta time all afternoon. Uh, what's left over, the chickens that work back here. Uh, they're doing very well back here, by the way. And uh, believe it or not, I got eight more hens coming, older hens. Uh, my son, they're gonna give up their chickens and they're two or three years old. So uh, I told him he could bring them back here. They'll stay in the uh, mobile chicken tractor at night, work the fields. Uh, we do bring some food out here, but they actually steal a lot of the pig's feed. Uh, and yeah, they're uh, living a good life back here. So, uh, <laughs> and the big old rooster I got back here is protecting the girls real well. So uh, yeah, we're real happy with the setup here. So uh, yeah, let's move on. So a uh, couple of things going on I thought to re uh, report on. First of all is I keep complaining about my two dogs that smell like a farm. And uh, this is why um, no matter how many times we give these dogs a bath, when they come out here, they roll in the dirt, rustle the whole works. And uh, for you know, they smell like a farm. <laughs> Anyway, happy dog, enjoying a, a little snooze in the in there. Uh, the pigs are starting to settle down a little bit. They're uh, all cooling off in their uh, uh, little moats, and uh, yeah, and then they're starting to find a nice, cool place to take the siesta. But I wanted to tell you that uh, in the month of July, we've actually thought we'd take a, a siesta from uh, the podcast. So if you're wondering why you haven't seen the Thursday podcast is uh everybody's got stuff going on there's really no major projects going on right now um i do have another pig coming uh a full a sow that's already uh pregnant and uh, uh she's coming from uh, burns oregon and uh we'll put her in a feral house over there and then we'll see if maggie gets pregnant or not and then we'll have two uh two uh maybe two sets of piglets coming but we'll see uh, other than that we'll just have one uh we'll probably be moving zelda over with sparky over here and uh, uh see how they do but uh it's been really warm so not really a lot of building projects have been going on um we've been uh, harvesting a little bit with the gardens and stuff but uh and uh trying to keep the greenhouse running it uh you know, efficiently uh, with the um, Dutch buckets, but other than that, it's kind of quiet. And then, uh, but in a few weeks, we got new pigs coming. We're also helping deliver two other pigs from the same place, uh, a set um, that are going to John and Debbie. We'll be using my little trailer. We'll pick up the three pigs, one of them's ours, of course, and bring them back here. Uh, then we get some uh, RV. Uh, small trips uh, going on um, between now and uh, September uh, before we do a big trip down to Arizona hoping the RV is in good shape um, and uh, yeah things will start getting kind of busy again so uh, then we'll probably so the regular videos I'm doing for Ranger Rob um, Country Living uh, looks like I'm I was going to go down to two but right now I think I'm down to one uh, video a week, uh, at least for a couple of weeks, um, just because uh, not a lot of new projects are going on, and uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So uh, if you're uh, wondering where what's going on, I guess Steve's. I'm back. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, when we come by. Uh, uh, we'll definitely pick up the... I'm back. <laughs> it's dusty out here. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So about one or maybe two videos a week. Doing some short videos just for fun. And uh, uh, so you'll see those in the mornings. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on so far. Well, guys, I thought we'd uh, check Sherry's flowers. Uh, looking real good. <laughs> well, Abby's found her pool. The flowers are uh, 
doing super and uh yeah so she made the towers just look beautiful uh usually we uh, water these in the evening haven't put an automatic system on it yet but oh we'll get around to it but uh how you doing abby you clean in the water that feel good come here come here <laughs> come here <laughs> she goes i'm new i'm still new to this pool business she did fell fall in the pound fall in the pond uh yesterday morning i think a bell pushed her anyway uh we'll take a last look at the uh conventional garden and uh yeah that would be our tour for today all right farther up we found the other dog hi bell bell likes to stay up front because it's cooler uh once again we're Killing it on strawberries down here. Lots of strawberries. Oh. Yeah, down there. That was a beautiful strawberry. So, uh, yeah. And of course, somebody likes to have strawberries, so I'll take a bite and share it with her. So, yeah. Happy dog. So, uh, snow peas and uh, sugar peas are doing really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, these are delicious. Uh, we were definitely uh, liking this. Well, a couple of things we learned is snow peas only take a couple of minutes to cook. And the uh, sugar peas... Um, actually take up to six minutes to cook anyway um they're very very good and of course abby likes those too so yeah lots of peas growing here i did tie some of these up and uh should have tied them earlier <laughs> but you know how that goes anyway um yeah here's uh these are the sugar peas here they tend to be a little whiter and uh, have a little peas inside them and they're thicker um, and they take longer to cook so when we cooked them together we kind of had to find the middle ground um she's so cute and uh, we actually are starting to get beans off of this plant. And uh, beans are, yep, showing up here. We're getting beans on these plants too. And uh, yeah, uh, lettuce is going well. We uh, just used some of it in a salad this week. And uh, potatoes. And... Uh, we got giant radishes in here, which will probably, I can't give them to the pigs or anything, it upsets the stomach, but uh, yeah. Um, and the carrots, we, uh, uh, they are very good carrots, very sweet. And uh, we put those in our salad. Uh, and the dogs get a treat from them too. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Believe it or not, Although there's a lot of weeds in here, the corn, although it isn't as high as it was last year at this time, is starting to, uh, so you can kind of see the light yellow, you can see that the corn is coming up and hopefully it'll overcome the weeds here. But uh, yeah, it'd be, I don't know how well we're going to do on corn this year. We didn't try very hard. <laughs> But yeah, come on guys, let's go, come. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on this week. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I wanna thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. And uh, yeah, our uh, videos will be a little bit sporadic until it, later in the summer. 
but yeah things are going on but uh yeah anyway i hope all of you have a great day uh, i hope everything is going well for you you get a chance to try out some of our pork go to central oregon grown.com or uh, just contact us directly and come on over and take a look and see if you want to try a little and uh see if you like it anyway guys have a great day we'll talk to you later bye now this video is made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available in amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks